When people are waiting in a queue like the one behind me and they've got nothing to do, this is the best time to go out there and hand out materials because they're most likely to read it. And also if you're near a station or some sort of bus stop where people are going to be traveling, then if you hand out materials then, it's likely people are going to read it. And remember, it's only a few words that someone reads that can have an impact on someone's heart that may change their lives. I have been to the, to the uh, mosque uh, really? as well. Yeah. Yeah. Which mosque did you go to? Uh, there's one uh, where I live. It is uh, it is in uh, on Lisbon Pike. It's in Virginia. So I'm, uh, I live in DC, DC area. So that's where I went, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And now you know, I learn a lot. You know. And do you know much about what we believe about Jesus? Right. Yeah, that's about we it. say the human prophet. Yeah, no, yeah. Which I also agree. To. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, you have a belief of a Muslim. You know that, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's why I have a lot of Muslim friends. Like even today, you're going to the crystal thing. Yeah. Christ Redeemer yeah. thing. Many, many people worship Jesus, so it doesn't that's make it. sense. That's right. That's right. But I see it just as an art. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was speaking to the street vendor and he's selling these little things and I gave him this leaflet about Jesus in Islam. He looked at Jesus and said, I love Jesus, right? So then I started speaking to him, there's a big language barrier, he didn't really understand what I was saying. So I took out a verse of the Quran in which Allah says, the likeness of Jesus is like that of Adam. Allah says, be, Allah created him and Allah says, be and it is. So he got that message that Jesus is just like Adam and he's a creation. So even if you come across people with a language barrier, you can just use a verse of the Quran to explain to them our stance on Jesus. Now my tip of the day for any Dais who are watching is get a copy of the Quran, get a, get a copy of the Quran which has the uh, Arabic, the, which you have the actual Quran, and you also have the Quran in a language that you understand. Now this is a good way of actually building your connection with the Quran as well as using the Quran for Dawah. So the way it works is that it's, it's color coded for each topic. So you have the verses regarding the Christians and the Jews in red. You have different topics in different colors. And then how important the actual verse is in terms of the Dawah, I actually put it nearer the top. So the first verses which I'll go to are the, are the, are the verses near the top. And then I'll actually work through the Quran if I want to show more examples to the person I'm actually using it on. If I no order, I may trust a Muslim. You may become a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah because uh, when I've been to Egypt and uh, to Dubai, I just had a just, just had a very interesting conversation with a Chinese brother from Shanghai, and he. He's had some very good experiences with Muslims. He's done a lot of traveling in the Muslim world. He's been to Egypt, to Dubai. He's been to the mosque in Dubai. And he said that he had a good feeling being around Muslims, being amongst the Muslim community. And he said that he thinks that he will accept Islam in the future. But Prophet Muhammad mentioned in name, by name in the Quran four times. None of his family is mentioned in the Quran because it's the word of God. Now the history books, including these things. Prophet Jesus is mentioned in the Quran 25 times. So the name Jesus in the Quran is more frequently mentioned than the name Muhammad. We all know that Dawah is a duty of every Muslim to invite people to Islam, especially when you're living in a non-Muslim country. Now, I've actually traveled to many countries in the world and not everyone is open to Dawah. But, alhamdulillah, what we have here in Brazil, everyone is open to listen to the message of Allah. 